nothing says futuristic dystopia quite like a swarm of killer drones making decisions over matters of human life and death. But true drone swarms, where multiple platforms communicate and collaborate to achieve a shared objective, have already been used to attack. Welcome to Technality. Today, we're exploring drone swarms and the future of modern warfare. Several countries are developing robotic and autonomous systems for military purposes, but one already has real operational experience. Israel uses a system called Legion X, described as an autonomous networked combat solution. An operation involving a swarm of drones can be overseen by a single soldier, directly from the Legion X tablet interface. A range of drones in the air and on the ground can communicate with each other and share information in real time. Working via remote control or fully autonomously, the system can adapt to different environments and even enter buildings to map their insides as it advances. In 2021, the Israeli military reportedly used this technology to attack Hamas militants in the Gaza Strip. The company behind Legion X claims its system can differentiate between civilians and combatants and that it requests human authorization before engaging targets. But in places like Gaza, where millions of civilians live within a small and densely packed geographic area, the prospect of mistaking them for enemy targets is dangerously high. The American military is working on its own drone swarm technology that would rival any of Hollywood's nightmare scenarios. DARPA, the US Defense Department's research and development team, has been working on drone swarms for years and has already conducted multiple field experiments. But new documents recently revealed show the US Navy is closer than ever with its aptly named Project Super Drone. Flocks of AI-driven autonomous drones are being designed to overwhelm enemy air defenses and conduct kamikaze-style airstrikes. They could be launched from larger aircraft or submarines and could conduct all kinds of different missions. In the very near future, Navy drone swarms might be used as a first line of attack, gaining advantage on the battlefield long before putting human assets in harm's way. And you can bet that rivals like China and Russia aren't wasting any time developing similar capabilities of their own. A future where militaries around the world have access to devastating drone swarms is less a question of if, but when. Unlike other aspects of war, however, there are no legally binding rules to regulate lethal autonomous weapons. Can world powers agree to ban so-called slaughter bots designed to kill humans? Can the international community agree that all systems always be subject to human oversight and control? And can the world keep weapons like these out of the hands of terror groups and other non-state actors? Organizations like the International Committee of the Red Cross are lobbying governments to prevent these terrifying scenarios from ever taking place, so far to no avail. One thing is certain, the rapid advancement of drone swarm technology is transforming the urban battlefield with major implications. Will humanity pull together before it's too late?